Biden versus Saudi Arabia. Let the oil games begin. Before I proceed, I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rarachah, Kodash. Double honors to the elders at Great Millstone taught me the truth. Single honors to the elect. Peace and blessings to the one third. Air confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. I don't want to make this long, but I do have to touch on this. All right. Article from theweek.com. Biden says there will be consequences for Saudi Arabia's decision to cut oil output. All right. Now, let's get right into it. President Biden is planning to reevaluate the U.S. relationship with Saudi Arabia after OPEC plus announced it would cut oil production targets. Now, you may be asking, what is OPEC? All right. OPEC is an acronym that stands for Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. It was um, created in 1960 by five countries, namely Islamic Republic of Iran, let's just say Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela. Now, doesn't, doesn't America have a problem with Iran, right? Doesn't America, didn't America have a problem with Venezuela? Think about it. Venezuela, oil is known as liquid gold. Venezuela is one of the poorest countries right now. Why is that when they have oil? Because of America. <laughs> they cornered the market on them, right? Now they're beefing with Saudi Arabia, so to say. I'm going to get to that. And they've been beefing with Iran. It seems like they always have a beef with countries that have some resources or something that they can benefit from them from, right? Let's get back to the article. So, the Saudi-led coalition, which also includes Russia, Ooh. Now, if you go into who the members of OPEC is today, they have at least 15 countries. And Russia's a part of that as well, right? Announced last week that it would cut its oil output by 2 million barrels a day, thus driving up prices in the U.S. Now, let me give you guys a little, um, little testimony. I had to go get some tires for my car. I drive a um a first generation 2010 Kia Forte Coupe SX, right? And I had to go to five different tire shops. Granted, I was trying to look for used tires for the moment until I um I'm able to get new tires. Every shop I went to only had my tires brand new. But out of all the shops I went to, right? I went to um Northerners and I went to um um a heathen shop like um from somewhere in the middle east and i went to an edomite shop but the edomite shop this man told me something that's very viable he said let me tell you something because of the oil prices going up that's why you can rarely find used tires he said if you have used tires if you got some used tires and they look good take them off and put them in the shed he said because the crude oil that they have to refine all of the dregs and the, and the stuff that's left over, he said they use that to make tires. I said, oh. And he said, if you notice, whenever they're laying down that black, it looked like black tar to make new streets, he said that's what's used after they've refined the crude oil. So that's why it's hard to find used tires because they're only making newer tires and the prices are going up because the price of gas going up. So when the price of gas goes up, also the price of um, tires goes up. So I learned that as well. Right. But anyhow, let's get back into this article. Biden has spent extensive time pressing Saudi Arabia to increase oil output, given the strain on resources caused by Russia's war on Ukraine. Keep that in mind. The war in Ukraine started February 24th. Um, 2022, Duh, of course, <laughs> forgive me. Brain fart, right? Remember that. So that was seven months ago. Keep that in mind. Seven months ago. Um, Biden has spent extensive time pressing Saudi Arabia to increase oil output, given the strain on resources caused by Russia's war on Ukraine. He personally met with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman for a two-hour meeting back in July. OPEC Plus made the announcement despite U.S. officials lobbying against the decision. Saudi Foreign Minister... Prince Fasil bin Farhan al-Saud 
I said that pretty decent, didn't I? Said the decision was considered from a purely economic standpoint and was made unanimously by the coalition's member states. Now, it's a lot more here, but I'm not going to get into all of that, right? But let's get straight to the point. It says, this is a quote from um, Biden. There's going to be some consequences for what they've done with Russia. See, if you don't like what we do, we're gonna we're just gonna throw you in the same basket as Russia. But see, Russia and Saudi Arabia are looking out for their own economic standpoint. See, America, you need their oil. They don't need you to give them oil. That's why Biden's like there's gonna be consequences. <laughs> And remember what I said, the war started back February 24th, 2022, seven months ago, right? Okay. There's going to be some consequences for what they've done with Russia. Um, Biden told CNN Tuesday, I'm not going to get into what I would consider and what I have in mind, but there will be consequences. Like, okay, you're yeah, right. So, sliding over, top five source countries of U.S. gross petroleum imports in 2021 were Canada, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and Colombia. Russia and Saudi Arabia said they cutting back. They don't like that, right? And Canada, you know they, you know they hold on to their own, their own energy um source resources as well. Remember, the EU going out of with Russia right now about the oil and like forty percent of their. I was that 30, 40% of their energy comes from Russia anyhow. And they're on reserves right now. So after the winter, where are you going to get the rest of your oil from? Because Russia was going to direct their oil distribution to Turkey, but the Turk stream somehow got sabotaged. But they're in the process of getting it back up and running. See, the other countries are starting to get away from America. Okay, let's get that really quick. Remember, America is the mystery whore of Babylon, all right? Slide over really quick. Jeremiah fifteen twenty three. How was the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How was Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Now this future tense going to become a desolation amongst the nations, i.e. Inter intercontinental ballistic missiles, thermonuclear warheads. But the hammer, I always like to resemble the hammer as a gavel that they use in court. And America tries to be the judge of the whole earth, but that gavel, that power is being broken before your eyes. Listen to this. Remember, remember what I said about when the, Rus when the uh, Russian war with Ukraine started? This is New York Post, published October 19, 2022. That'll be yesterday. Biden releases 15 million barrels from oil reserve as critics slam it as midterm ploy. All right. The reason why I like this article really quick, because pay attention. President Biden announced the release of another 15 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve Wednesday before denying that it's a desperate ploy to drive down gas prices temporarily right before next month's midterm elections. Now, um, someone says, quote, what is your response to Republicans who say you are only doing this SPR release to help Democrats in the midterms? A reporter asked Biden at the White House. In other words, he's been taking oil from the reserves, right? Listen to this. He said, the president initially tried to brush off the inquiry, saying, where have they been in the last four months? That's my response. Here's the kicker, y'all. It's unclear why Biden said, quote, four months, unquote, as he first ordered oil reserves from the reserve nearly seven months ago. When did the war start? February 24th. So let's count down. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So around the same time Russia invaded Ukraine is when they started dipping into them oil reserves. Why? Because they know, oh, Lord, how are we going to get more oil from Russia when they beefing with Ukraine, who we are backing anyway right now, which is why they're still fighting. Because Ukraine does not have the resources to keep fighting with Russia, but because the United States, Babylon the Great, and these other EU countries, which are also part of the beast, all right, the heads, you're the you're like you're pretty much shooting yourselves in your own foot. You you biting the hand that's feeding you. <laughs> Man, the Lord has you in the trick bag. So that's why he's been releasing these 15 um, barrels of oil. 
because they know that they are on reserves right now. And now that Saudi Arabia said that, listen here, we're going to cut back on our distribution. Biden is like, there are going to be consequences because you need their oil. You need them. All right. That's what's happening right now. Okay, let me go back really quick. Yep. I'm going to close out with this precept. This is Habakkuk 2 and 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. You go to the word clay, it's abat, I think it's abatia, which means debt. In America, you are in a lot of debt. And, and really, America is one big oil company that's being backed by its military. That's it. But nonetheless, though, um, with that being said, pray was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quran, Allah. Waffle ball, shalom, and I will leave the link of this article in the description box. Waffle ball.